What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be recapping the WWDC 2012 event that just happened, so let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first thing that Apple announced today was the new MacBook Air. It has turbo boosting up to 3.2 GHz on the new processor, it has 8GB of RAM, up to 512GB of flash memory, and they also added USB 3.0, a new 720p FaceTime camera, and that ships today. And the new MacBook Pro, um, they actually updated the MacBook Pros with a new processor, um, faster graphics, and all that good stuff with USB 3.0 as well. But the new next generation MacBook Pro is beautiful. This thing has a retina display. It's thinner than your finger. It's as thin as the MacBook Air. It's under four and a half pounds, 15.4 inches. It has 220 pixels per inch on the retina display. And the resolution of this thing is 2880 by 1800. It has four po or four times the pixels as the old MacBook Pro. That's just amazing. They reduced the glare by 75%. And all the applications in the operating system have been updated for the new display so that this thing looks very good with games um, and all that good stuff that you're working with. So professionals will probably love this computer. It has a 2.7 gigahertz i5 or i7 quad core CPU. Um, the graphics are the NVIDIA GeForce GT 65 or 650M. Um, it also has up to 768 gigabytes of flash storage. That's just amazing. That's a lot of space in this machine. Um, very fast memory as well. It has USB 3.0, 7 hours of battery life, and it has up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, FaceTime HD camera, dual microphones, and this thing starts at $21.99. Um, US dollars and it ships today. Now the next thing that they talked about is Mountain Lion and Mountain Lion has the same features that we've seen before with reminders and Game Center and all that good stuff but now they have documents in the cloud so if you have saved a document on your iPad and you want it on your Mac you can now do it with pages. It also has dictation built in which also works with Microsoft Word so you know typing is no longer relevant you can just um, say all of your papers that you have to write. Um, for all your school projects and that stuff and there's also a new feature called tab view So you can zoom in and out and if you zoom all the way out you view, you get a view of all of your tabs So that's pretty cool and another new feature of mountain Lion is power nap now This keeps your Mac up to date while it sleeps um, So it updates all of your stuff on your Mac while it sleeps. It's pretty cool It also backs up while it's sleeping and it's very power efficient and of course there's airplay so you can um, seamlessly stream your display to a projector or something like that and there's also a mute a mute switch for notifications they have better support for china and it's going to ship in july so next month it'll be available and uh, it's also going to be twenty dollars so very cheap and there's also a developer preview out today so after Mountain Lion, Apple decided to talk about iOS. Now iOS 6 is going to be available today. They talked about iOS 6 and all the new 200 features that it is going to have. So the first thing they talked about is Siri is being updated and it's going to be smarter. And there's also a cool new thing called hands or eyes free. And you um, in your car, you'll be able to push a button and you can talk to the phone and talk to Siri and tell it to do stuff instead of looking at your phone. So this is going to be much safer um, to save texting, driving, and all that stuff. Then there's new languages, and Siri is also going to be on the new iPad, so it's going to be fantastic. Um, iOS 6 is also going to have deeper Facebook integration. Um, it's going to have tap to tweet, tap to post, built into the notification center. Facebook um, app store integration is going to be pretty cool. You can see what your friends recommend on Facebook with the app store. And there's also new call later settings. And there's also a do not disturb switch. So your messages will still arrive, but your phone does not light up or ring. Um, a new feature is also going to be FaceTime over cellular. So FaceTime over cellular is going to be there finally. It took them long enough. And also Safari is going to um, include photo upload through Safari. And there's going to be new iCloud tabs. So if you're on your Mac or your iPad or your iPhone, you'll be able to use your iCloud tabs to keep them in sync across all your devices. There's also going to be an offline reading list. And there's also going to be landscape our landscape is actually going to get full screen support so that's pretty cool and now also photo stream has a shared photo stream so you can share all your photo stream with your friends and family mail has a new VIP so you can mark important people you can insert photos directly from mail which took long enough 
um, for them to do that. And they also have a new app called Passbook. And this is a new feature which allows you to store all of your passes in one place. So if you, for instance, have a United ticket, you're going on a flight somewhere, if you have a baseball game, a ticket for that, you can keep all these things in one spot. So that's gonna be really cool. They also have new guided access, um, which is better accessibility options. And also iOS 6, the best part is the new map system. So brand new maps, um, they're doing away with Google Maps because um, they are obviously getting away from Google as much as possible. They have traffic services installed there and they also have real-time accident support or reports which will be updated anonymously. You also have turn-by-turn -turn navigation which will be pretty cool and this also works from the lock screen so you don't have to go anywhere else and you have flyover 3D model maps, which these things look really, really good. And Siri is also integrated, of course. And they have this new picture here called um, for the kids, are we there yet? And Siri will tell you if you're there yet. It's pretty cool. And they have, um, it's extremely fast over the iPad, the new iPad. And the 3D renderings are in real time, so it stays up to date very fast. In the operating system, some new things is the redesigned stores. The, veil, or the beta is available today, which is awesome. And now iOS 6 supports um, iPhone 3GS and later. It supports the second and third generation iPads, so the iPad 1 is not supported. And if you have a fourth generation iPod Touch, that is supported. No other iPod Touches are supported for iOS 6, just the fourth generation iPod Touch. All right, guys, well, that was a wrap-up of WWDC 2012. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it looks like no redesign for iOS, just new features. Uh, Mountain Lion looks good. The new MacBook Pros look awesome. And uh, apparently no nothing new for the Apple TV. Um, iCloud, just photo stream sharing. And also um, the new MacBook Pro, of course, looks sexy. No Mac Pro, no, no updates to the iMac line. Um, but that was pretty much a wrap-up of the WWDC event. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.